السلام عليكم يا حبايب قلبي شلونكم شخباركم ان شاء الله كلكم بالخير وعافية Hello everybody hopefully you're all doing great and today we are supposed to talk about interrogative pronouns and actually how to ask the questions in Arabic this is the one of the most important topics in Arabic and if you get these topics and pronouns you're gonna be able to ask any question you want to and you are gonna be able to answer any question that you ask okay without any further ado let's get started our first pronoun is actually shinu or she shinu or she it basically means what and she is an abbreviation of the shinu and they both are the same and it doesn't make a difference you can use the both of them and these are multiple example to get this right okay the first example is shinu ismik shinu ismik shinu means what and ismik means your name what is your name shinu ismik but for female you have to say shinu ismich shinu ismich shinu qastik shinu qastik it means what is your intention or what is your goal or what is your aim shinu means what and qast means intention in ka is an attached pronoun means your shinu qastik what is your intention our second example is hai shinu hai shinu it means what is this what is this or you can say shinu hai shinu hai what is this when you want to warn someone and you want to say that the way you are behaving i don't like it you can say this hi shinu what is this or you are so employed the psis shinu salife shinu salife the salife means topic in shinu and as you understood it means what shinu salife means what is the topic Shit read, shit read. What do you want? Shit read means what you want. But for female, we say shit reading, shit reading. But if you want to say that what you like or what you love, you have to say ish tahab, ish tahab. For female, we say ish tahabin, ish tahabin. What do you like? Shunu shaglik. Shunu shaglik. What is your job? What is your occupation? Shunu shaglik. Shraik. Shraik. Rai means opinion or idea. Shraik. What is your idea? What is your opinion? Shraik. Shitkul. Shitkul. Tagul means you are saying or you say. But shitkul means what do you say? What are you saying? Shitkul. For female, we say shitkulin. Shitkulin. Our second pronoun is when. When. It basically means where. Where. For example, when a book. When a book. Where is your father? Or when Ali. Where is Ali? You can add whatever you want after when. And you can make these phrases questionable. It's as simple as that. It's so easy. When? ضيعت ابني. وين أقرب مركز الشرطة؟ ضيعت ابني. وين أقرب مركز الشرطة؟ ضيعت means I lost. I lost. It's past tense. ضيعت ابني my boy or my son. ضيعت ابني I lost my son وين أقرب Where is the nearest center of the police وين أقرب مركز الشرطة وين means where أقرب means the nearest or closest مركز means center and الشرطة means police The next example وين ما وين وين حالغيبة وين ما وين وين حلقيبة This is the really one of the coolest expression in Arabic وين ما وين means actually 
Where are you? It's been a while that I haven't seen you. Win ma win. Win ha la actually means unseen. Unseen. Win ma win. Where are you? It's been a while that I haven't seen you. Win tred truh. Win tred truh. Win means where? Tred means you want. Truh means to go. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? When to read through? The next pronoun is ishgid. Ishgid. Ishgid basically means how much. How much. For example, ishgid ta'aruf al-arabiyya. Ishgid ta'aruf al-arabiyya. How much do you know Arabic? How much? Ishgid means how much? Ta'aruf means you know. Al Arabiya means Arabic. How much do you know Arabic? The next example is Ged Umrak. Is Ged Umrak. Is Ged means how much? Umr means age. And K is attached pronouns means your age. How much is your age? But as you know, in English we say, how old are you? But in Arabic we say, Is Ged Umrak. Ish ged umrak means how old are you? Ish ged yahchi. Ish ged yahchi. It basically means how much does he speak or how much does he speak? But if you wanna say how much do you speak and or how much do you talk, you have to say ish ged tahchi. Ish ged tahchi. If you wanna say someone that you are so talkative, you are so girlless. You can use this phrase. Ish ged tahchi. How much do you talk? Or the last example is Ish ged tolik. Ish ged tolik. It means, it literally means how much is your length or how much is your tall. But as you know, in English, for asking this question, we say, how tall are you? How tall are you? And the next one is, ish ged hilu. Ish ged hilu. Ish ged hilu. And this expression is really good, is really cool. And it means, how much beautiful or how much gorgeous. In English, we say, what a beautiful or what a gorgeous. But in Arabic, we say, ish ged hilu. Is ged hilu? How much beautiful? All right. The next pronoun is ish waket. Ish waket. It's basically made of ish plus waket. Ish plus waket. Ish, as I said before, means what. In waket means when. Then it's what time. What time? But in English, we say when. When, when, for example, ish waket rajat min Iran. Ish waket rajat min Iran. When did you come back from Iran? When did you come back from Iran? Or when did you return from from Iran? Ish waket means when. Rajat means come back. Or min means from Iran is Iran. The next example is Ish waket taroh minnana. Ish waket taroh minnana. When do you go from here? Ish waket means when. Taroh means you go. Minnana means from here. From here. When do you go from here? Ish waket tazor imam al hasin. Ish waket tazor imam al hasin. When do you visit? Imam al Hassan. Shwakit means when. Tazur means visit. When do you visit? Imam al Hassan, as you know, Imam al Hassan is the is the leader or pioneer of the Shiaism. Is the third Imam of Shiaism. And the last one is Shwakit Taqdiet. Shwakit Taqdiet. Shwakit means when. It means eating lunch. When do you eat the lunch? 
is the verb and means eating lunch and the nouns of this verb is غداء غداء is lunch is noun but اتعديت is verb means eating lunch إيش وقت اتعديت means when do you eat the lunch okay guys in this video we went through the four interrogative pronouns then we have another four interrogative pronouns to finish this topic the next pronoun is بيش 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 means how much for example بيش الساعة بيش الساعة it basically has a two different meanings for example if you're in a shop and you want to ask the price of the the watch you have to say بيش الساعة it basically means how much does it cost to me but when you are when you are in the street and you ask someone beisha sa it basically means what time is it okay then we have two different meanings here beisha sa the second example is al malabis yamkum beish al malabis yamkum how much is the cloth with you or besides you how much is the cloth with you read the judge bish read the judge bish read means i want the judge means poultry and bish means how much read the judge i want poultry bish how much is that and the last one hey bish hey bish Hi means this and bish means how much how much is this how much is this when you ask the price of something you can say this hi bish hi bish how much is this the next pronoun is shlun shlun means how but shlun itself is a questionable word for example, if someone says, I did that, you can say, Shlun, how, how? Shlun itself is a questionable word, is a questionable pronoun. For example, Shlun عايش بالعراق وما تعرف العربية. Shlun عايش بالعراق وما تعرف العربية. How do you live in Iraq? and you don't know arabic how do you live in iraq and you don't know arabic shlun means how aish means leaving bilaraq means in iraq wa ma ta'ruf and you don't know ta'ruf means you you know but ma ta'ruf means you don't know ma makes the verbs make makes the sentences negative okay wa ma ta'ruf al-arabiyya and you don't know Arabic. The next one, Shlun Nakdor Nazur. Shlun Nakdor Nazur. How can we pilgrim? How can we visit? How can we pilgrim? Shlun means how. Nakdor means we can. Nazur means pilgrim. Shlun Nakdor Nazur means how we can. Was it? And the third one, a book shlune, a book shlune. How is your father? A book means your father, and shlune means how. How is your father? Or you can also say, a book shlune. How is your brother? Or you can say, أختك shlune. How is your sister? Ahmed Shlun Insan. Ahmed Shlun Insan. Ahmed is the name, is the Arabic name. Shlun means how, and Insan means human, human being. Ahmed Shlun Insan. Ahmed, how is the human being? But in English, we can translate this What kind of person Ahmed is? 
Ahmed Shlun Insan. The next pronoun is extremely important and practical. Leish, leish. It's written leish, but you have to pronounce it leish. Leish, leish means why? For example, leish timshi hafi. Leish timshi hafi. Why are you walking barefoot? Why are you walking barefoot? Leish means why. Timshi means walking or you walk. Happy means barefoot. Why are you walking barefoot? The second one, Inte leish gaid. Inte leish gaid. Why are you seated? Or why are we sitting? Inte means you. Leish means why. Gaid means sitting or seated. Why are you sitting? Inte leish gaid. But for female, if you want to say this for female, you have to say Inti leish gaid. Inti leish gaid. In the third one, leish takhaf minni. Leish takhaf minni. Why are you scaring from me? Leish takhaf minni. Leish means why? Takhaf means you are scaring. Minni means from me. Minnek means from you. Minne means from him. For example, if you want to say that, why are you scaring from him? You have to say, Leish takhaf minne. Leish takhaf minne. And that another one, Leish ma tahchi. Leish ma tahchi. Why aren't you speaking? Why don't you speak? Leish tahchi means why are you speaking? Why, are, why do you speak? Why do you talk? But leish ma tahchi ma makes the verbs negative, okay? Leish ma tahchi means why don't you talk, okay? And leish ma tazur. Leish ma tazur. Why don't you pilgrim? Why don't you visit? Tazur has a two meanings, means visit and pilgrim. Leish ma tazur. Why don't you visit? And the last pronoun is kem or chem. They are both same and there isn't any difference between them. But kem is mostly used in Gulf dialect. But Chem is mostly used in Iraqi dialect, okay? And it means how many? How many? For example, into Chimnafar. Into Chimnafar. How many are you? How many are you guys? Into is a plural. We say it for group of people. Into Chimnafar. And in this sentence, is so practical in hotels and this is what the receptionist asked this all the time into Chimnafar how many are you how many are you guys into means you but it refers to plural one we say it for a group of people Chem means how many and Nafar means person into Chimnafar how many are you and the second one Chem Marra Ejiet Likarbala Chimmarra ijiet likarbala. How many time did you come to Karbala? Chimmarra means how many time? Ijiet means you came. Likarbala means to Karbala. Kim funduk eku ihne. Kim funduk eku ihne. How many? How many hotels are there here? How many hotels are there here? Kim funduk means how many hotel? Kim means how many? Funduk means hotels. Aku means is there or are there? Ihne means here. Eku means there is or there are, but maku means there is not. For example, if you want to say 
there is not any signal there is no signal there is no reception you can say maku shibike maku shibike and the last one is chim marra agillik mawrid chim marra agillik mawrid it means how many time i tell you i don't want how many time i have to say that i don't want Chamara means how many time? Agillek means I tell you. Maurit means I don't want. Maurit means I don't want. But when you pronounce it quickly and fast, it becomes Maurit. 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 Alright guys, this is as much as I could do with this video. And hopefully you enjoyed it. But I just want to tell you that the more sentences you make with this pronouns, the more confident you become in this case. Okay, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.